Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm here with my biscuit wife, Laura. I'm here with my dessert-inspired husband, Nathan. And we have some new Arnott's biscuits to look at today and taste. Well, well yes, of course. Uh, so we have their three new dessert-inspired biscuits. So they've taken like one of their classics and kind of mashed it up with a popular dessert. Not the first time they've done something like that. They had like twists or twirls at some other point. Yeah, but I remember seeing them end up at the reject shop. Yeah, so... so they mm. kind of been great. Um, anyway, so we have the salted caramel tart scotch finger. Ooh. The iced vovo lamington. <laughs> and the mud cake shortbread cream. Interesting. I actually really like the packaging design, personally. It's not something I often say, but yeah, it just stands out. They really stand out. Um, they're all different sized packaging as well, so... I thought that was interesting. Often when you see like something come out together, they're all the same. Uh, and they're the same cost. Yeah. All right. So uh, this is one I'm looking forward to the most. Yes. The, the, um, the Scotch Finger is actually one of my favorite Arnott's biscuits. Shall we leave that till last then? Yes. So hopefully we can finish well, on a high. Well, how about we start with the Lamington because the coconut will hopefully get out of our mouths. It'll go those. everywhere. Yeah. Well. Uh, so obviously uh, a Lamington for anyone watching from overseas. Um, we've done Lamington things before and forgotten to explain what it was for those who didn't know. So... It's a, a kind of a spongy cake um, coated in a chocolate icing and then rolled in coconut. Well, Sometimes it's got jam in the middle. That's the that's what it looks like. Yeah, not all of them have jam in the middle though. Um, no. And the iced vovo, you're probably better at explaining what it normally is. Uh, no, I can't even <laughs> put Nathan on it's the got spot. Like pink icing or something on it. And... Yeah, so it's pretty similar looking, but normally it is pink. Um, kind of a raspberry, is it? I yeah, I, I can't really. It's just sweet, berryish. Yeah, so on the bottom it's biscuit, <laughs> and it's chocolate this time on the Ooh, top. Oh, it smells like lemmington, funnily enough. It really does. It really, really does. Does it say anything about... Nope. Oh, I can't. I can't get it to go back in the packaging. I was going to try and turn the pack to have a look, but... Near oh, again dear. Now. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> I see you're doing well. Apparently I did indeed need a hand. What does it say here? There you go, it does say something. I lied. We've reimagined our iced vovo with flavours from the iconic Australian Lamington, a delicious biscuit base topped with chocolate fondant and a jammy raspberry topping, all sprinkled with coconut flakes. Two icons combined into one delicious creation. So, so I just ate one then while Laura was struggling with the packaging. <laughs> yep. One word comes to mind. Mm -hmm. Dry. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's really <laughs> dry. No. Mm -hmm. I feel like I need to guzzle like a liter of milk or water or something after it. I would say if you're a coffee drinker, this would be a mm. good one to maybe dunk if you don't mind having the coconut fall into your tea or your coffee. Or In whatever. terms of the flavoring, it tastes pretty pretty similar to a lamington, but it's, it tastes extra sweet. Mm. It's definitely sweeter than a regular lamington because the tiny bit of jam in the middle is actually really, really, really like thick yeah. and concentrated. Um, you d yeah, you get the lamington flavour, but it's also heavy on the biscuit as well. It's like a, a biscuit lamington, yeah, the, so, which I mean is exactly what it is, isn't it? It, it tastes so. like a lamington, but I think the ratios are a little bit off. So It's too sweet for me. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you know I don't... I'm not, I mean, I'd rather a savoury. I'm, I'm, even, <laughs> I'm even leaning towards a slight too sweet too, and I love sweet things. Yeah, that's so. very, very sweet. But if you do like it sweet and you're going to dip it, I think, you know... Yeah. Hmm. That's all I have to say about that. Let's get into some delicious mud cake shortbread cream biscuits. Mm, nom, nom, now, nom. I've got to be honest, I don't think I've ever had an Arnott's shortbread, short, I can't speak, shortbread cream. Now here's ever. the, the shortbread cream. They, uh, they're not normally brown, like chocolate brown, are they? I don't they're think so. Like, shortbread. Yeah, they're sort of yeah. like the same colour as the Scotch finger. Right. Definitely smell, it smells like a Woolworth, a Woolworth mud cake. Oh, okay. Well, mud cake. Uh, we've reimagined our shortbread cream biscuits. You can try it if you like. Uh, with flavours from the iconic chocolate mud cake. Two delicious chocolate shortbread biscuits filled with an elegant piping of deliciously smooth chocolate cream. There we go. That's a pretty nice biscuit. Good luck I, doing that. I don't know if it's elegantly piped. It's just sort of just sort of in there, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah. It tastes similar to what a chocolate cake would be. But dry. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we really both need a drink today. <laughs> We're um, both really thirsty. It's really dry. Overall, the flavours mix a lot better, I think, than the Ice Vovo. It's not, like, too sweet or anything like that. Mm, I think with the Ice Vovo, though, the Lamington Ice Vovo is very much a Lamington taste. This is just chocolate shortbread with chocolate cream in the middle. Mm. I don't get mud cake. It's... it's. Well, I mean, nothing wrong with it. It's just a chocolate biscuit with chocolate I cream. I do, but so... it tastes like a cheap, like, packet mix mud cake. Yeah, no, I'm sticking with just the chocolate biscuit with chocolate cream, which is nothing wrong with it. So, no. mm. all right, this is the one I'm looking forward to. Scotch fingers are 
Probably my second favourite um, Arnott's biscuits. What's your favourite? Uh, the Monte Carlo. Oh yeah, with like the raspberry filling and whatever yeah, it is in there. Yeah, I really like those. Um, but yeah, these are a, a definite second. Scotch finger with. Do you want to break off a finger? Caramel. Yes, please. Uh, let's see, what is this one? Oh, this one. What? Oh, it's way smaller. We've reimagined our original Scotch finger with flavors from a decadent salted caramel tart, melt in the mouth, crumbliness, crumble, <laughs> crumbliness, <laughs> and a heavenly buttery taste with that addition of crunchy caramel chunks and a salty bite. Mm, okay. It smells caramelly. Oh, it really does. So Scotch fingers have a pretty unique smell. So. Mm. That's one crunchy mm. biscuit, mm. but delicious. Mmm. 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 Oh, that's nice. That's not too sweet. Not like the um the ice bovo one. And you still get some of that scotch finger flavour. Yeah. Even though it's been mixed in with something else. Yeah, it's a scotch finger but with salted caramel. Mm. Although I didn't get a lot of salt. It was more the little um chunks of crunchy white. caramel pieces. It's definitely not too sweet. I thought the caramel might make the scotch finger sweet when it's actually more of a buttery biscuit, but no. That's by mm. far our personal preference. To the three, I think. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. I think though, sorry, I went in for a second bite. Um, it's really nice. I think if you don't like normal Scotch fingers, though, this no. is not going to change your mind. Uh, it's still, it's still a Scotch finger. Uh, that's a small packaging, but I noticed it's actually got 232 grams in it, and the um, Lamington only has 210. So mm. despite the fact the packaging is smaller, weight size, it's just it's the about, shape, shape, and yeah. the size of the biscuit. Yeah. Um. Well, yeah. This, this is definitely our favorite. Um, 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 if you have a sweet tooth and like. Vovos, that's you know probably going to be still your thing. And if you like but these two are quite dry, and even though this is a buttery dry biscuit, it doesn't seem as dry as the other mm. two. As weird as that is, but again, that's our personal preference. So you know, I mileage think, may vary. I think they're better than the, the the twists or twirls, whatever the previous lot was a year yeah, or two ago. Yeah, let us know. Swirls, whirls, twirls, I think <laughs> twisted. Were twisted creations or something. Mm, yeah. If you enjoyed watching this video, give us a thumbs up. Let us know down below what is your all-time favourite Arnott's biscuit. It could be yeah. like a, a regular one that's around all the time, or it could be a limited or special edition. And mm, any, anything's fine. Or even Arnott's, like, they had the cakes for a while, oh, and the yeah, ice so creams. and Side Arnott's products, oh, yeah. <laughs> based off biscuits and oh, all things. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button and check back soon. We have reviews every Monday and Saturday. Sounds good. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.